Hi everyone, who oh boy do I have a haul for you today. As promised at the end of my last haul, I said that I would have a ton of Apple Blossom prints printable kits to go over, which I do. In case you thought it was just this many, uh, psych. This is, I think, a little less than half of it. Just so y'all know what we are dealing with, we have all of those on the left to go over. It's going to be quite a while. And then there are some as well that are actually not from Apple Blossom Prints. I forgot I still had to print, so that's what this tiny little stack is. Um, so yeah, I just haven't put away these ones on the left because it's just, I don't want to have to like put them in cellos and then immediately like undo them on camera. So I'll put them in cellos after. These I just had already had done. So those unfortunately will have a lot of cello noises accompanying them but let's start with let's just start with planner pixie co whom i think i went over in the last haul i had one collab kit which was the lady and the tramp one and this is the one that we did before that which was the home alone one so this is my copy of the kit that I printed out for myself so I'm just gonna like briefly go over it in case you have not well in case you have seen the new release video here's just like a brief refresher of it so here is the full boxes and then I just basically tore apart the rest of the kit um to reprint like what I knew I needed as with the last haul we are gonna be desperately hoping that the cat does not make too much noise or appear on screen but she probably will because she always seems to know when I'm filming and know how to get in the way so I did print off tons of these like plain little things it's so funny like I don't have those in my kit format but I feel like they're kind of my favorite but I just I love the other ones too so I just can't really decide and then we have our patterns which are really fun on the bottom washi and then the extra full box and then I printed off the big box and then the tall box which are both unique designs so i needed them and i will be using the accompanying overlays as well that i created which again i don't have here to show you but check out the new release video for that okay and then next um i did print off the thanksgiving spice kit as well which is again exclusive art this was a collab that she did with geeky draft co or something like that um, Kiki Draft Designs, one of those two, but I believe they do collabs, um, basically to, like, buy the art together, which honestly makes so much sense, considering how expensive art is, and they just, like, do it, um, they release it in each of their shops, so it's, like, exclusive to two shops, essentially, which, again, genius idea. I'm so used to, like, the logo being on the left, um, but yeah, so she's come out with a ton of those, um, and I believe the most recent one is the St. Patrick's Day one that I just need to get because it is beautiful. Um, so yeah, I just, I needed this one as well for sure. She uses, um, one of my favorite artists. So yeah, I'm all about that. I printed off tons of extras apparently, but yeah. These are the full boxes. I like these colors for Thanksgiving actually. They're really nice and kind of muted. But I feel like this, like, shade of purple and that red and these oranges, I feel like they're really kind of not often used for um, fall or Thanksgiving. I just really like the shades that were chosen. So we have our double box scene of the kitchen interior, which I always love. This is a particularly gorgeous kitchen, too. Um, we have some presents here, I think. Little gifts, which I'm not sure what that's about. That reminds me of like Christmas, but this is a Thanksgiving kit. Oh, and then here we have some like generic fall stuff in the tiered tray. And then we have um, two flat lays with Thanksgiving food, which all looks delicious. And then we have a fashion go right here. Oh, and then we have another food flat lay with the classic charcuterie. And I think it's a pecan pie. Yum, yum, yum. It's making me hungry. And we have our solids, patterns, bottom washi. I think I just threw these in a random order. I think I was particularly lazy. I'm trying to figure out what that is. I think it's like an apple cider. 
but it looks cold. It looks like there's ice on that. Um, and then we have the deco. Oh, I put the tall box on this page with the fifth color sampler as well as um, a pattern full box, which I've been trying to print off when they are available because there's just so many opportunities with those. Um, and then this one, I believe the, um, like this entire column was this very dark color that would not be writable. So I kind of like made my own version of, um, a little thing. Like this was not how it originally looked in the kit at all. I just kind of like makeshifted it. So I made my own little things in a way so that they would have a writable area. Which I kind of stopped doing for the rest of them after like a certain, after like maybe half of these kits, I stopped like caring whether these were writable because I had already made the decision in my mind that I'm going to be doing, um, printed scripts now for each spread. Um, and by that, that would mean that I would, um, be able to foil them if necessary. So the foil will obviously show up over very dark little things, so it doesn't matter to me. I just realized as I was talking that this is from a completely different kit, which is very funny that that's in here, so forget that. Um, if you were, like, screaming that at me while I was talking, I apologize. That's very funny. That's a spoiler of a future kit that you will see in, like, a few minutes. Um, but yeah, moving on, we have the glitter hairs. Fun fact about, like, this particular, like, patterned strip that I always print off. You'll always see like just one lone strip of pattern in all of the kits that I print for myself because I use it for putting the dinner's header in front of. So which I also always have to make myself because nobody else does them anymore. So I always just take the same like white text and put it over like whatever black little thing or not black whatever darkest little thing is in the cut. So like I usually like put it over the pattern right here but the fun fact and little easter egg is that I don't use the same size like cut file for these patterned strips so they are all wildly different sizes throughout these kits because I make them myself because usually they aren't big enough on their own so I just kind of have to eyeball it so it's it's very funny that they are all so random but yeah those are the main pages of the kit and then the extras we have a big box i love that she does big boxes so gorgeous another like kitchen interior i think it's like a little like a coffee station which oh my god is that goals or what i've always like i have a little mini coffee station but our house is so freaking small that there's like it's the tiniest coffee station in the world and my dream is to have a big kitchen with a big coffee station one day and then we have an extra double box scene here of the living room interior like all this art is just so freaking beautiful like props to randy and um i think it's or what's her name april of geeky giraffe um i don't know like who mood boarded it or if they did it together but like props for the mood board too because like these scenes are perfect yeah this is great i mean i always love like a gorgeous like living room scene with a fireplace and I know how hard it is to find them based on how hard it was for me to do my bookish Christmas art which you're gonna see in a second too and when you when it's done right it just looks like so inviting so I love this one I would I would love to be there and we have our pattern full box and then the little things you can tell I'm like super sloppy with how I print it but this are just, these are just for me so like I don't need them to be perfect this is the actual fifth color sampler for this kit it's a nice, that orange shade that I was talking about earlier. And then I printed off this, um, fashion people. I was trying to figure out where I mixed and matched it. I think I dragged in him from another sheet. So that would be my boyfriend. That would be me. Although it's not really super duper what I look like. And then I think I just wanted this girl to have, to be the redhead. Just cause sometimes I'll be like super random. Sometimes I want them to look like me. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I want half of them to look like me. Sometimes I just want an extreme mix and match. So you're going to see a lot of mixing and matching um, throughout these kits. So that is everything from Planner Pixie Co., which, again, is not super accurate as to what she's come out with that I need. But that is just what I have ready to go. 
Okay, and then next we'll get into Leonard Designs, which we will finally reattach this page to its rightful kit. Um, which is the Cyber Money Mystery, I believe. Is it? Or is it Mystery 2? I think this is just the Mystery 2. No, I think this was the Cyber Money Mystery. I No, that was this one. Sorry. That was this one. Okay, this is just Mystery 2. I have been buying all of her mysteries because I just happen to really love her artist, so... I don't know if this is the same artist as she always uses. No, it's not. It's it's this one. It's the same as um, the Planet Pixie Co., which I love both of them anyway. So whatever artist she uses, like I already know I'm going to love them. So I'm just picking up all of them. This kit is not necessarily my vibe per se, but I mean, it was a printable kit. So it was like a few bucks and I am going to fit it in anyway, just because the art is so gorgeous. But yeah, this is like bohemian stay at home kind of lazy day slash self-care um which i'm not like a super bohemian person or like cactusy kind of southwest usa vibes i don't know i don't know exactly which of the two this would like qualify as but either way it's kind of like not super duper my style but um it's i still find it very calming and relaxing and the color scheme is very nice so um, I can still, like, vibe with it, especially because, like, a salty snack, which for me, it's, it's been Cheez-Its lately. I'm trying to transition back to the Dots pretzels, but, like, goldfish are the same vibe as Cheez-Its. And then, like, a book, which, yeah, that's been my ritual lately to, like, eat Cheez-Its and read my book. And then, of course, there's, like, Oreos over here, which for me, for me, it's chocolate bars. I always get, like, the fun chocolate bars to snack on, too. I feel like not many people will actually eat like a whole bar of chocolate. I feel like Willy Wonka over here, but I've just gotten into them lately. And we have this cute little doggy, double box scene of the bedroom. And then we have some like skincare stuff over here. We have our Chinese takeout um, and then Netflix on the laptop, which we have, um, have we been watching Netflix sometimes? We just watch whatever we feel like watching at the time. And then we have our little things. Um, this page, which I think I just stuck a bunch of extra full boxes on. So we have the me fashion girl, we have the hand with all the rings on it. And then we have a couple like chick flicks. I want to say Miss Congeniality and Sweet Home Alabama. I haven't seen either of those. Should I? Let me know. I'm not really a chick flick person, but if it's like a really good movie, like I'll enjoy it anyway. So let me know if I need to like break my genre habit to try those out the popcorn is my favorite thing in the world so i'm glad that's there like popcorn is literally one of my favorite foods you know those tags that go around instagram where you like put all your favorite stuff or this or that <laughs> i feel like i always list popcorn as one of my favorite foods on those tags so y'all probably already know hang on i need a water break Alrighty, it is 4 30 in the morning and i am just kind of finishing off my work day and I have not been speaking, like, the whole work day, so. Whew, not used to it. Okay, and then we have our solids. I like these a lot. I like the size of these fancy labels. I feel like it's so hard for shops to get the size of fancy labels right. But I really like the size of those. And I think these are both third boxes. And then we have halves. So this is, like, I feel like the ideal arrangement. Some shops include quarter boxes, which I feel like I'd rather have more fancy labels than quarter boxes. That's just me. So I feel like this sheet, this format is very good. We have our deco, and then there's this much larger, I think it's a much larger pattern strip than the other one, or at least it looks that way. And just everything else I threw on this page. Um, okay, there we have some like quarter boxes, which like are useful, don't get me wrong. But I feel like I always like need much more room than that. Um, and then we have the glitter headers. And then the bottom washi, and then this extra full box, which has like a jam sash playlist on there, as well as a nail kit and it covers. Okay, and then finally the fifth color sampler, which is this really pretty pink color. That was a good choice. And then the tall box, which is like two random girls. I guess it's like girls hangout day or whatever. And then the pattern full box that actually goes with this kit. <laughs> That's funny. There wasn't one, unfortunately, that would look like me and my bestie, which is so sad, but that's okay. I think we'll survive. 
shout out to Sage if she's listening, which I know she is, and she's going to get a kick out of the mention. All right, here is the Cyber Money Mystery, which I am so obsessed with. This is like a Cinderella-inspired kit, I feel like, um, for sure. It's like, it's like not Cinderella, but it's like if we were Cinderella, like if a fashion girl was Cinderella. So we have the double box scene of the castle, which I always love. Seeing the castle drawn just makes me happy. I feel like this would be for perfect for a quote. I mean, it just it just has to happen. And then we have our Once Upon a Time storybook with another gorgeous castle in there. I wonder if she drew both of those or if she like pulled that in from somewhere else. Cause like I can't imagine having to draw it twice. Um. And then we have um, this fashion girl I just put there. I forget what else was in that spot, but I think I dragged her in from another page. And then we have, like, the royal imitation to the ball. We have one of the birds and the glass slipper. We have a couple of really pretty horses. And then we have a little mouse in the teacup. And then a watch. Oh, I love that. And there's the little, um, the little creatures making her gorgeous pink dress. Which, honestly, I think I preferred that one to the one she ends up wearing. I think it's like a muffin. And yeah, that is the first page. And then the second one, I made sure to print off the big box, which is like the interior of the living room. I feel like we could do a lot with that too. There's a lot of empty space that we could definitely bling up with some foil. Um, and then the tall box girl, I did choose to be kind of like the Cinderella figure. I didn't want her to look like me. I wanted her to look like Cinderella. And then I just stuck a bunch of fancy labels on this page. These are, all these pages are out of order. I got super lazy after a certain point. I had like 50 kits to print out, so I stopped organizing them. So whatever page comes next for the rest of this video is going to be a surprise to you and me. All right, and then there's the deco, glitter headers. Oh, one note on the glitter headers. These are definitely um, overexposed, like the exposure is turned up a little bit much on those you kind of have to be careful with your glitter pattern because it's very easy for it to look washed out um and then we have the littles i love this color scheme it's perfect and it's so easily writable oh yeah it's funny she didn't have any plain little things so i kind of just had to like stick the dinner's header in the middle of this like dotted one and it perfectly just fits so that none of the dots are caught in that which is great and then yeah that's definitely bigger that pattern strip <laughs> than the last one and then we have two other full boxes we have then another cinderella fashion girl and then a flat lay of a blue dress and then we have our solids page and then patterns and bottom washi which has yet another full box of like a book with the dress patterns in it. Oh, I do like the size of these um, date covers. I feel like they're shorter than typical. So that leaves more room for deco. Okay, so that is the Cyber Money Mystery, which is a huge win. I feel like I'm really glad I picked it up. Love it. Okay, now, since that's everything from Lunar Designs, Let's go ahead and get into Pink Planner Shop, which I think there's summary formats in here. Shout out to Seberge, or however you pronounce it, um, her name. Shout out to her for all of her like constant reformats, because she does reformat pretty frequently, and um, she always like listens to her customers on what format they like, and like the changes that she should make. And I feel like it's just been getting better and better because I primarily buy from Apple Blossom Prints, mostly because of the format, um, because it's better in my opinion. But like, Pink Planner Shop has definitely been catching up in terms of like the awesomeness of the format. So I'm pretty happy to buy from either one. Um, I feel like I always just have though. I've always kind of bought from both once I started like doing printables only. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go in kind of like chronological order here. So this was like one of the oldest kits that I got from her, which is Fall Forest. She, I also go to her mainly because she uses um, art sets and artists that I feel like a lot of other shops will have to pass on. 
because she just, I don't know how where she gets the time, but she can just turn out um, kits with like every single art set that ever comes out and other shops that don't have as much time have to be more selective so I can pretty much go to her whenever like I want to get something that I can't find anywhere else like this I don't I'm sure there's other shops that use it but like you know if Apple Blossom Prince doesn't use it then I'm getting it from Pink Planner shops that's pretty much like my philosophy on that um but yeah, this this was super gorgeous. I don't think this is an artist that I use or, or buy too, too much from. But certain sets, certain sets will get me. And this one definitely did. I just love It's so whimsical. I love this, like, mushroom forest. Like, please let me visit there or dream about it. Because my dreams be so wild and realistic lately. I mean, my whole life, but especially lately. Like, I feel like I could so easily, like, dream that. And that would be such a good dream. Um, and yeah, we have our cup of tea, um, pears, acorns, more mushrooms and boots with the flowers, books over here. It's just vibes. Fashion girl. I think I chose the one with dark hair and pale skin for some reason. Like maybe a little Red Riding Hood vibes. Maybe we have our clothing flat thing. Oh yeah. There's a lady in a hood. I chose that one to be more like me though. Cause, um, I liked the curly hair cause I have curly hair. Uh, and then same with that fashion girl as well. There's our deco. Deco's a bit on the bigger side, but I feel like it's just enough. Um, and then we have more, um, full boxes over here. We have a cute little bag and a hat, and then another clothing flat lay with some, with a mushroom sweater. That's super cute. She does actually include the meals header along with some other headers, so I can just grab that, which is nice. As for the patterns, there's only like these tiny little strips, so I usually just have to like take this and double it, so we'll find that somewhere else in the kit. But yeah, there's the glitter headers, some little things, we have our solids page. Um, these are, I think, skinny fancy labels still. I don't remember whether she reformatted this or not, but they are a bit shorter than average. There's our patterns. And then the bottom washi, and then I think I chose that fashion girl as well. Kind of looked like me. It's a pretty green dress that time. Actually, did I like completely forget to do the? No, it's right here. It's doubled up. So, and it doesn't really matter if you can like see the line separating the two because, like, this is gonna completely cover that up. So, you're not gonna see that. And then I did do the fifth color sampler, which is this really gorgeous blue shade. Okay. That is Fall Forest. I just, the vibes, the color scheme, like, recommend movies to me that, like, have this vibe, and I'm just gonna live in that aesthetic for a little bit. Um, speaking of fall vibes, we also have Autumn Breeze. This is another one where I feel like everybody was using her art for, like, a hot minute, and then everybody stopped at the same time, but Super J did not. Actually, if you're watching this, please correct me on the pronunciation of your name. But I'm just going to keep calling you C or J because that's how it looks phonetically. Um, or maybe it's like C or J. Maybe you say the J like a Y yeah sound. I don't know. Um, I'm giving it a shot here. But yeah. But she still uses this artist. So every now and then. I always like like the art set. But then when I see it in a kit, I'm like, it doesn't quite translate as well to a kit as I would have like hoped from looking at the art set. But occasionally there is one that's a winner. This one, I think I took away the double box scene that was here for reasons that I'm sure will be explained later in the kit. So I replaced them with some fashion. So we have like some random fashion girls. This was one where I just kind of chose whatever. Um, but yeah, I love the colors for this too. Like the traditional bright fall colors, but of course the fall drinks, the mushrooms still, the Ugg boots, even got macarons in here, a cupcake, fall leaves and pumpkins, fall foliage. This is a vibe. It's very, like, fall fashion, too. Like, I just, I'm loving that look. I don't know if I could pull it off, but I'm loving it. Um, and then on this page, I think I left this page intact, pretty much. Everyone's including these tiny little boxes here that are, like, short quarter boxes, which is, like, the funniest thing to me. I want to try to use them, which is why I left them in here, but it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, have to be a very deliberate thing. I've got this delicious looking apple pie and then this even more delicious looking I think hot cocoa with the cinnamon in it I haven't I haven't done hot cocoa with the cinnamon stick I'm usually like a peppermint stick kind of gal but maybe I should try the cinnamon maybe we'll see 
And then glitter headers. See, these glitter headers are perfect. Gorge. I think they're different from mine. Let me grab mine real quick. Because I think they're... Yeah, mine's a, a... I just, like, zoomed out a little bit more on mine. I think. Or zoomed in, rather. No, I zoomed out. This is more zoomed in. But yeah, they're both very good. Changing that glitter color is a struggle, though. A little I'll let you in on that little secret. Um, I put the tall box girl in here, which again, fashion. I feel like she studies fashion, this artist. Um, and then, yeah, there's my completely randomly sized. <laughs> oh my god, that's not even going to fit on there. I could just cut it in half, though, and space it out if I need to. Randomly sized pa uh, uh, patterned washi strip is what I meant to say and just never finished that thought. Fifth color sampler here. My cutting machine went a little fanatical on this page, so it's breaking, but it's still like peelable, which is all I really need for my personal sheets. I love, um, I didn't actually copy this idea on purpose, but I do love the concept of like putting fun third boxes underneath the big box, which is what I do. Um, case in point, here's my own big box right here. Mine, I guess, are a different size, but you get the gist. So yeah, I put the big box here, which again, I feel like there's a lot we could do here in terms of like deco. And this gorgeous orangey fifth color, and then we have our solids. I love the color scheme for this as well. Patterns, and then bottom washi. Oh, I think I um, took away the double box scene because it was probably the big box. And I just wanted the big box instead because it showed more. So we have our bottom washi and then we have our um, extra full box right here with the like candle and the lantern. I love a good lantern. I feel like that's one of the things that like it's from the olden days and nobody has any more. But like it's just an aesthetic that we need more of. We need, we need lanterns in our life. Um, and then we have Harvest Cottage, which is another fall set from the same artist. This one's, like, very different color scheme, though. Um, this is, like, way more muted tones and, like, very muted pink and blue kind of, like, overarching throughout. So, I just, I love those vibes in particular. And, of course, this most beautiful pie ever. I wouldn't even want to eat that. It's so gorgeous. Um, we have another, like, cinnamon stick hot cocoa with the marshmallows. We have, like, a knitting stuff. Ooh, that's... Oh, I always just want to jump into a giant, like, pile of yarn. Um, so this, I feel like, is more thanksgiving because we do have, like, the turkey over here. And, like, what is that? It's some kind of food made, like, made to look like a turkey. And then we have the, like, actual harvesting going on here in that flat lay. And then here's the girl here with her little harvesty hat. And then the boots and the apples. And then the doll box scene of, like, the log cabin, which I guess, guess is our, like, setting for this and then on this page oh that's such a pretty pattern um flat lay of the like knit sweater and then pumpkins and then deco and then here we have oh i guess i just like left these for whatever reason <laughs> but glitter headers okay there is the um big box which has the rocking chair so i guess i just kept that even though like most of it is the same cabin as from there. Um, tall box girl, and then that harvesting girl, and then the apples in the hands. Fifth color sampler. I left this, like, most of the same. This is just extra little things, which I feel like I do always need. Um, solids, patterns, little things. Yeah, this is a different format, I feel like. And then, um, I think usually she leaves her bottom washi intact which I love occasionally I will like choose another one and make them like split but if it's like a pattern that just needs to be left intact I will and I just wanted to use my leaves overlay for this one so I left this one intact and then we have our extra full box with the boots so that is harvest cottage all right I'm gonna stop my phone here before it runs out of uh, memory so it might be like zoomed in a little differently in the next clip, but here we go. Okay, so next we have two more to go over from a Paint Planner Shop. Um, the first one is Christmas, and the next one is a wedding one. So let's just go over the Christmas one up first. This is called Christmas Memories. 
and I think it's another one of those artists that not many people use, but I just really liked the color scheme of this one and um, obviously like all the traditional stuff that's in here. Like we have some um, like Christmas books over here. I'm not too sure what that one is supposed to be, a Christmas something. I would say Christmas story, but that's a movie. The Night Before Christmas is there, and The Nutcracker is there. Um, and then we have the little kids here. This fashion girl in front of the like mailbox that says letters for Santa. We have the presents under the tree. Santa's workshop signs. Um, flat lay of like stocking and gifts. And then all these yummy looking drinks and then the like Christmas pajama flat lay right there and then we have the solids page patterns um, little things but yeah and then this tall box here of the couple which unfortunately that one doesn't quite look like me but it's okay and then the glitter hatters bottom washi oh yeah I specifically wrote a note for myself that I wanted to do the train washi overlay my Christmas train which is why I left this as like the 30 millimeter which I was never gonna remember um if that wasn't in there so I've just been like writing notes to myself um just mine as well I'm printing it so I can do that um and then we have like Santa with the milk and cookies for that full box and then the double or the big box is like the entire scene of the Christmas tree so I love that. Love it, love it, love it. There we go. It does peel from that side. Thank God. Okay. That is Christmas memories. And then this last one, I couldn't find anybody else that used it. And it's one of Nella's clip art sets. So I need all of hers. And this one is like, say yes to the dress. Um, so this is like when you've um, like been proposed to and you've said yes. And then now you're going dress, dress shopping and all that like bridesmaid stuff so it's like a very fun specific wedding prep kit because I think people were asking for like wedding prep kind of stuff instead of just like the week of the wedding um so yeah for whenever this does happen to me I did choose the girls that look like me so we have our gorgeous dresses here and then we have a double box scene with the dresses in the window um, and then we have like our rosé there, we have our yes, no, maybe signs, cookies, shoes, and then we have like all the bridesmaids right there. It's funny because I would be that one with the bun instead of like the bride in the middle, but it's, you know, I could use this for somebody else too if I wanted to be specific. And then we have like the, um, the TikTok on the phone, and then presents, and then like deco, glitter headers. Oh yeah, she's one of those shops that does like the moving marquees as just the rectangle, so I usually try to like take those out when I can because I like the ones with a bit of bump. And then we have our solids patterns. I love these patterns quite a bit. And then little things. And then lastly, washi, which I didn't write a note, but I only have one like wedding themed 30 millimeter overlay, so I'm just going to use that with this. And then we have the last full box with like the little message board on it. <sighs> so nice. So that's kind of like a save for that special occasion kind of kit. Okay. Um, now I think we're going to go in reverse chronological order for the rest of it, which is, well, we're going to start with my kit that I've been like showing you bits and pieces of. Um, Again, this is one of those things where it isn't a new release video because this is one of my new releases, but I finally printed off my own version for me. So I'm just gonna like, just show you what I plan on using. I think I'm gonna use it this upcoming Christmas instead of for last Christmas, which I still have to back plan. Only for the reason that I didn't do any reading for December and I feel like it would be disingenuous to use a reading kit when I didn't do any reading. So I'm gonna try to read this December and use it then, which is fine because one of my planner besties, Elisa, is also gonna be saving it for next Christmas. So we'll be twinsies at that point. Um, but yeah, 
I will have this for that purpose. It is still like one of my favorite kits of all time, like ever that has ever even existed, which I'm very glad that I get to claim credit for it. But there's like, there's me out of the traditional color scheme, of course. There's me with the little Christmas ornaments, which if you look closely are actually like actual clip art ornaments, which I did. I did have Nella do that for that purpose. Um, we have like pets in here too. It's like Christmas books and pets. It's funny because like I had her do like a black and white tabby after um, my soulmate cat Charlie, who was a black and white tabby. Little did I know that there would be another black and white tabby coming into my life shortly after this kit was made. So that cat can now represent her as well. So both of my pets are actually, well, two out of three, I guess, are actually in this kit now. But yeah, she's wearing a little Santa hat. And there's this like gorgeous book Christmas tree right here that Nella worked so hard on. So it's very prominent in this kit. Um, and then we have this other girl with the golden retriever and they're wearing, wearing matching Christmas sweaters, which is so cute. Um, and then we have this upright box with my favorite clock that has ever existed. I would kill for that clock, that like mantle clock. I just needed a mantle clock in here. I just don't, can't tell you why mantle clocks are my favorite. Um, and then we have our stack of books, of course, and then um, the hot chocolate with the peppermint, which like I always say, that is more my jam. Um, and then there's like ribbon and garland in there as well. Um, and then the rest is flat lays, which this used to be the double box scene, which I took out because I'm using the big box instead. So I just put the extra boxes on this page that I'm going to use, um, which are the ones with like the books in them. So this one, I just like made it up. It's like a Christmas wish or something. It's like a romance. That's not an actual book, but the rest of these are actual like book covers. Oh, uh, we have the Polar Express. They're meant to be faint, by the way. They're meant to be, cause like, I didn't want to ruin the like, um, style of the rest of the clip art and then we have a christmas carol we have another green version of the christmas carol over here night before christmas and then the nutcracker so we have all those and then this flat lay is like kind of ornament making so we have like the little ornaments with the torn up pieces of paper inside and then the actual pieces of paper right here which are a christmas carol of course and then christmas um not christmas like book themed cookies and there's more ribbon and then this one, which is the open book, of course, and then some Christmas ornaments. Um, and then the overhead view of the hot chocolate, which does have the cinnamon stick. And then we have some candy canes and more garland. Yeah, and then there's this big garland there as well. Did I really just do only the green candy canes for those flat lays? That's funny. I should have made this a like double boxing flat lay, but I was not thinking at the time. Um, then the other double box scene is the, um, bookshelf and there's a little cat in there. And then there are some like Christmas trees in front of the bookshelf, which the overlay that I did for this, like does have little sparkles, but you can also put more stuff on the trees if you want. I left them kind of plain on purpose, but there are like wreaths as well. This is like such a pretty Christmas bookshelf and I want it. I want it. Um, I did choose this cyber tracker and then I um put the pattern full box in the place of the other one and then there's my deco and my weekend banner <laughs> here's my glitter headers which you've already seen again i did take out that little thing and put in my own knitters header from here which it was already created it is on a different sheet though so i just moved on to this sheet but everything else oh, i could have got rid of one of those as well i don't need two of those it wills. It'll be a game day decision which one I use. I gave myself the two patterned flags because I always need those for my personal reasons. And then I do like my moving marquees. They're nice and nice and big and fat. With the little bump, of course. I'm really pleased with those. Um, and then we have my little things. We have the solids page, which I guess I do uh, two rows of fancy labels, which are, I feel like, standard sized. Um, and then one row of quarters, one row of thirds, one row of halves, which I did take out some of these and put in the squares because I typically like to have squares as options. And then there's like an extra strip of plain at the bottom. And then here's the patterns. She did so many great patterns for this. She gave me like 12 to choose from. It was ridiculous. So it was a hard choice. 
and then here's the bottom washi and then here's my date covers oh and then this extra full box which I knew that we were about to adopt a German Shepherd at the time so I had her do a German Shepherd and a Santa hat and of course our German Shepherd does not look like this but still he's adorable our German Shepherd looks like a, a dark wolf um, and then I took this from one of the fashion pages because I wanted to use this tall box girl I, I chose all the fashion people exactly as they were in the original reference photos just because that's how I that's how I see them in my mind like I don't need them to look like me this one just happens to already kind of look like me oh she had straight hair in the original but I had Nella do like a curly haired version I guess for selfish reasons because that does actually look kind of a lot like me I feel like when my hair is down but yeah these two were both blondes originally so I chose the bodies oh I love this tall box of like the girl with the little um, Santa dress holding a stack of books obviously there was nobody post like this in real life but I had her like invent this for me and I just love that I love that I can just tell her to like m combine x y and z and she just does it which she did a lot for the um, double box scene as well which I've also made the big box in here like originally there was there was no girl here in the chair so I like gave her the background um, image reference image for like the living room and then I told her to put books on the tree but she did a little book ornaments in there and then I gave her the image of like the girl reading with the cat on her lap and told her if she could like put that in the chair as well and she like made the girl like even more gorgeous than the original and she did the little tabby cat for me so that is my little cat right now who is currently sitting peacefully in my chair right next to me thank god she's not active yet but she will be um but yeah in the original double box scene like the girl gets kind of sliced down the middle so i wanted the big box as an option if you did not want the sliced version and then there's two unique third boxes here that are not featured anywhere else in the kit so there's one with like the paper background and one with the um, book tree background so yeah that's gonna be my own personal copy of the bookish christmas kit that i will use with my specific foil specifically for this kit let's see how many times i can use the word specific but yeah that is my intention with that um so yeah let's put that off to the side there since i won't be putting it in a cello yet okay and then for the rest now we'll finally get to apple blossom prints which there is so 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 much but i think i feel like the rest of the 40 kits or whatever are all apple blossom prints so the next five we can speed through because it's the same kit, just different colorways. Um, and this is the Hip Hip Hooray art by Kittenish Jess, and who released like a whole bunch of colorways, like five, I think. And then Apple Blossom Prince went and did all of them, which thank you so much because I'm definitely here to take advantage of that. I purchased all of them because this is just like the perfect generic birthday kit and you never are going to like not need a birthday kit on hand and you never know like what season it's going to be what the vibe's going to be so having multiple options for that is perfect so this one is the soft version yeah it's soft so it's very like bright and pastel and pinks and purples and very girly so i'm going to go over it um this first time and then the others i'm just going to like just show you the color scheme essentially because all the i feel like the boxes are mostly pretty much the same um so yeah, I feel weird, like I haven't, it's weird that I haven't purchased any of this before. I really thought I had, but I guess I didn't. But yeah, it's it's nice and generic birthday. It's not specifically for like, I guess it could be like a kid's birthday because there's like a bounce house, but the rest of it's very kind of like generic, an all ages kind of birthday. So you have a double box scene with the cake and the cupcakes and the presents and the balloons. We have our cake flat lay right there, cupcakes over on this one ice cream cones on this one present stack we have the balloon decor around the door and of course the bouncy house and then this is apple blossom prints i think this is an old format i believe so we have a solid page a pattern page little things um deco and again i just did whatever with this page so i did put a pattern full box there these two we have the party hats and the presents and glitter headers and everything bottom washi and then this little baby 
super cute and then the fashion um I just did the ones that of course look most like us that looks a lot like my boyfriend that does not look like me at all it's, I feel like it always turns out that way um and then there's like two little kids I like how the kids are like not super young like they could be like maybe seven or eight so that is the soft version and then we also have the bright version which is more greens oranges and blues and then we have the jolly version which is like for christmas there's no winter version there's just the jolly version and then we have the fall version which is these pretty blues and oranges it's not super traditional fall colors oh great the cat is making noise and then lastly we have the spring version which is very green I feel like it would have more pink in it, but it doesn't. It's just very green, which I do still love because green is my favorite color. So yeah, I got a million birthday kits now. Will I remember to use them for people's birthdays? Never, but I have the option. Okay, next we have a Valentine's Day kit. This is not the only one here in this collection. I feel like they're kind of interspersed with other stuff. This is XOXO. This is not the first kit that I have entitled XOXO as I know because the files were kind of trying to combine in the same folder when I printed this but um yeah either way Valentine's Day kit by this artist whose name I can't freaking remember right now but you've seen her earlier in this haul what is her name uh if I think about it it's not going to come to me but she's a fave anyways love this color scheme so so much this like this particular shade of green with all these pinks just like really does it for me um but yeah it's just another generic valentine's day kit i say another as if i have shown you another one in this haul oh here we go cat did make an appearance congratulations guys you get to see more cat fur um but yeah we have our double box scene of like a little outdoor patio situation we have our bear with the be mine heart got presents food of course the letter board this is all you need is love and desserts <laughs> then we have our solids page patterns i feel like this is the newest format so she has like two rows of fancy labels two quarters a third and a half box and then the plain strip i feel like her boxes are shorter than mine which is why she's able to fit like that extra row of quarters i think all my boxes are a little bigger it on the bigger side. Okay, then we have the deco. I took the man from another page, shoved him in there. That would be like my boyfriend if he didn't, if if he did shave rather. And then we have glitter headers, two more full boxes, clothing flat lay, and then just other items in the flat lay. I did make my dinner's header right there on the little things page. Then we have the bed full box here and then the bottom washi and then fashion we have this gorgeous tall box the girl with the braids and then this full box right here so that is xoxo next we will dive into some fantasy with the winter fantasy kit um which is inspired by the Chronicles of Narnia, which I freaking love. Like, any excuse to reread the books or watch the movies. I think I reread the books fairly recent, not fairly recently, but, like, in the past, like, six or seven years. Like, enough to be memorable to me. So, but I, like, have no recollection of the movies. So, I feel like I'm going to use this to mark a rewatch of the movies. I think I only did see, like, one of them. But, yeah, I feel like that's going to be the vibe. Um... So yeah, we have our double box scene right here with the wardrobe and the little kitty. I love that kitty. Um, and then here, um, we have this gorgeous like tea set with the kitty in the background. I love that box. We have some jam on toast here and sardines. Um, I have a lantern, which again, you know how I feel about lanterns. On the stack of books, we have the little Aslan plush right there. We have the Turkish delight and the lion candle right here. I love the color scheme for this as well. We have the solid, solid page, which of course I put some square boxes on. 
patterns. I love how the plush is one of the patterns. Uh, Littles, Deco, and then some extra full boxes, which we have the Turkish Delight again. Why didn't I like print this off twice? Now I have to like choose. I guess I'll do that one. Um, and then we have the girl who's supposed to be a oh, great, now that I have to say her name, it is not going to come to me. Um, why are their names like impossibly hard to remember? I don't remember a single one of their names, but it's meant to be, I think Lucy. Um, and then here's like their outfit. One of the guy's outfits, I think, in the sword. Um, and then these two boxes with the fox and the sleigh and the bottom washi pattern full box I did print off the fifth color sampler which is this pretty light blue and then the fashion I think that's meant to be like one of the guys Edmund maybe um and then these two girls are just a random girls but yeah loving the Chronicles of Narnia vibes it was about time we had a Narnia kit honestly um and then next we have Set Sail, which is a One Piece kit. I'm not going to pretend to know a darn thing about One Piece. have not watched it. I've actually been kind of convinced through all the hype about it um, that I should give it a shot. So I will. So I have this kit for that because I feel like I might like it. Like, I don't know. Certain animes I love and a lot of the ones I hate. But I feel like if this is like so mainstream that there's a kit for it now, like I feel like it might be one of the ones that I love. So we'll see. Um... But yeah, I'm not going to explain everything because I don't know what any of this is or who any of these people are. But here's the kit. This art is by Kitnish Jess, who I guess really loves it. And yeah, I just have this for... Is that a snail? I need to know where the snail comes in because that's hilarious. And that's, I think, Luffy is the main character. That's as far as I'm going to get with that. But I'm excited to see what the hype is all about. Okay, and then next we have another Nella set, which is Healthy Me. This is the Brazilian win. So I think there were multiple colorways, possibly. But this is like healthy habits, essentially. Which I got as kind of like aspirational, like when I get back into being healthy again and, and do the working out. I, I still eat healthy, thankfully, for the most part, aside from consuming an entire family size box of Cheez Its per week, which I'm trying to wean myself off of. I feel like I eat pretty healthy. We have like our coffee and tea over here, a gratitude journal, inspirational post its, books and candles, yummy food, double box scene of the bedroom. That's kind of a cool um, perspective. And then the little corgi, which is so cute. I love how she, like, puts random animals in her sets. And then we have the solids page patterns. Deco, extra full boxes with the workout shoes and clothes. And then two more over here with food and coffee and alarm clock. Little things. And then bottom washi and the bedroom interior, or I guess another lounging area interior, and then the fashion girl. There's so many full boxes with this set. But yeah, we have a fashion girl in pajamas, workout gear. Super cute. So when I get back into doing the right things, I'll have that. Okay, next we have one of Emma's art sets. Emma of Painted Lilac Designs, I think. Who used to be... Uh, happy sticker designs but now she does clip art and she does so so good um and she's like getting better with her style too i feel like her art is so good um so yeah we have one of emma's this is booked in obviously i got it because i have to get everything that's book related and this is like a wintry book so i just love anything that's like double themed so obsessed um i feel like this is a great january kit like i'm i'm feeling this vibe for january actually like i should just like slot this in now um but yeah, we have some books here. Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Um, Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood. Daydream by Hannah Grace. I have not read any of those, actually. I feel like if there's any that I should have read, it would be Ugly Love, but I just don't think I've read it. And we have an e-reader here. We have an open book and some mushroom soup, which, oh my gosh. 
that sounds good. I don't think I've ever had mushroom soup, but it's, I love mushrooms and soup, so can't go wrong, right? And we have tea, a heart-shaped crock pot, like cozy blankets and stuff and tissues over there. We have like a double box scene of the little, um, it's like a food truck, but for books, which is such a cute idea. I feel like that does exist in real life somewhere. I just have not seen one. Um, and then we have like, of course, iced coffee and a tote over there. Um, this I had to like, it was a double box scene that I just like was too lazy to figure out how to orient next to each other. So, um, I just made myself a note that it is a double box scene of like the bookshelf and then the beanbag chair. And there's deco and then there's a couple flat lays. That looks like a manga, which is a fun reference. And then that flat lay of clothing. And then we have the little things. Solids, patterns, bottom washi. Looks like we have some tea here and cookies. Love a good teapot and a kit. And then we have um, the fashion, which we have a tall box and then a couple fashion girls. It's a good day to read a book. Yes, it is. And that is booked in. I feel like we're making pretty good progress. Okay, next we have like a rose, which is Jess's Valentine's set for this year. I do like this pink and purple color scheme. I think it's another generic set. We have a double box scene of a plush couch. Some really cool looking tables there too. That one's like gold, that one's marble. My two favorite textures. Um, we have some treats, a purse, flowers, a marble tray with things on it. Of course we have our rosé. And then what is over here? Magazines maybe? And then it's like a little couples game it looks like. And then we have our deco page. Glitter headers. Yeah, those glitter headers are awesome. Love that reformat. This is the newest format, I think. And then um, these brand new movie marquees as well are awesome. They do have the little bump. And then we have two more full boxes with the clothing flat lay and then jewelry flat lay. We have our solids page, patterns, littles, um, bottom washi, and then extra full box with like the generic couples box that could work for like any straight couple, which I like that. And then the fashion is just the ladies, which I did choose kind of randomly. I chose the tall box to be kind of like my color scheme. That girl looked pretty Asian, so I kept her like traditionally Asian, I guess, or like a more pale Asian. And then, um, that girl, I just, I think that was the only option for that girl actually. So yeah, a lot of diversity going on there. And that is like a rose. And then next we have Birthday Babe version two. This is a recolor. I think the artist has been like releasing recolors of certain sets, which again, for certain themes, I will always love a recolor, especially because this is birthday. So I do have the original somewhere in my collection, but this one is, uh, I forget what the original colorway was. I think it was like very like bright with all primary colors and stuff. This one's like very muted purple, um, and pink and green. So we have our double box scene, with, like the party room, we have the disco ball alarm clock or maybe why is the alarm clock there I was wondering I don't know because I guess you're counting down to your birthday um balloon animal drinks shoes the huge solids patterns littles deco glitter headers two extra full boxes you have the sequiny dress makeup and then there were so many extra full boxes, so I printed off this entire page of extras with the little German Shepherd dog. So cute, I love that that's there, especially now. We have like a burger. That looks like an impossible to eat burger. <laughs> and then just other various items, which you can clearly see. 
And then we have bottom washi and a full box of the bed. I printed off the fifth color sampler. I like the pattern in that one. Um, and then this fashion. And then this fashion as well, because there was just so much fashion, as there always is with this artist. The cat has found my computer, so if you hear random noises, that's her. Okay, and then next we have Love Me version 1, which I think this is Nella's set um, for Valentine's Day for this year. Oh, the cat has found her treats. And here's the kitty. Come on, look slightly more upwards there and then here's her treats which she already got into a while ago and I keep putting it places in this room and she keeps finding them she is a little stinker okay go wreak your havoc somewhere else now so yeah this is Nella's set this probably came in multiple colorways too I'm not sure but I got this one which is like very pink and black which I kind of love that See how we're double boxing on the bed. This area like needs a quilt for sure. Oh, she's right back on the treats. I'm not gonna stop the video to like hide them somewhere else. She'll get bored eventually of being put down off the desk. We have a heart-shaped pizza, which is very cute. I think this is like a like a single loving myself kind of Valentine's Day situation, if I recall correctly. I don't know why I got it. I just love the kit. So and I don't really do Valentine's Day anyway, as I'm sure I've said many times, but I don't really believe in it. Um, except for my planner, where I do believe in it very much. My planner gets to celebrate all the holidays that I don't. Um, but yeah, you can see everything else on here. We have our solids, patterns, you can see I left the black, which is not writable, because I figured I could just do foil. We have this fashion girl here, which I wish she had black hair. That would be even more accurate, but I don't think that was one of the options. We have some more full boxes here. Uh, little things. Bottom washi, and then like a, a bath full box, and then the fashion girls here. Very cute. I love this like satin. She did so well with that satin. So yeah. I think that's... Yeah, that looks to be all of the Valentine's Day sets. So now let's kind of go backwards into generic winter. Starting with Frozen Lake. Which, very calm, peaceful vibes here. Um, with these muted colors, I'm loving that. This is one of those kits that I just bought because it was pretty, not because I intend to like be on a Frozen Lake at any point. Oh, look at those s'mores, they look so good. Got some apple cider going on. There's some pears in there too for some reason. Yet another lantern. That is lantern count three for this video. Should I do the counter of that? That'd be so funny. I wish I had like software to like discern wherever I said lantern and like flag it. I guarantee you there's an AI out there that's gonna do that. Um we have like an I go firewood chopping scene there. I love this double box scene. Like this perspective is like really cool. Because you can see the fire pit and the house in the background and the swing and like everything feels like very well spaced for the full wall or for the double box scene. Love that. And then we have the fashion girl here with the ice skates over her shoulder. She's about to go skating on that frozen lake. We got um solids. Again love this color scheme. It's so peaceful vibes. Patterns, little things deco um here's a tall box and the hands with i think that's like i think that's like a heart cheap snowball there and then this box which perfect for a quote and then we have a little s'more flat lay love it we have a pattern full box here which also perfect for a quote and then bottom washi so that's frozen lake and then next, we'll take a little detour into some pop culture. Again, this is um, the Harry Potter common room kit. Um, now, Nella provided enough art to where you could kind of customize it based on your house. And I think um, Apple Blossom Prince Amanda, I think is her name, she did enough options to where you could kind of choose your own house. So I got the Ravenclaw, like, full box page at least. 
So it's very blue. Um, I love this like really dark kitty cat. Yeah, it's very, very dark and blue. But yeah, we have um, Harry Potter on the laptop screen. But the rest is like basically like the common room, of course. We have our books. We have a cookie, a planner. These headphones seem very out of place for Harry Potter. And then um, like a stack of sweaters, I feel like. And then the color scheme is like the main four house colors. So we have our solids, our patterns, which are very cool. And then if I can get to the next page ever, we have the deco and then this other flat lay with the scarf, the snitch necklace, and some sweets. I'm trying to figure out what kind of sweets those are, but I can't quite tell. Um, and then we have a delicious looking food flat lay there and then I think that's supposed to be something edible in there I'm not really sure little things love this bottom washi and then this needs a coat obviously and then for the fashion I did choose one girl from each house just just because I needed all the different like poses for the Ravenclaw girl I just made her be like the the me color scheme and then the rest I kind of just did based on what I thought looked best. So the um, Slytherin girl has red hair. Gryffindor is a blonde. I just wanted the blonde curls. And then the Hufflepuff is a brunette. So yep, got all of that for the Harry Potter common room. Love that. And then next we have Dia de los Muertos. The Day of the Dead set. This is also by Emma. And I really love this as like a generic day of the dead that's like not Coco specific. So um, for anybody who just actually celebrates the holiday, this is perfect. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to name every single thing that's in here. What are these called? Like the Alibrijes, I think. Which of course I only know from Coco. We have the really gorgeous banners here in this like street scene. We have our two characters we have delicious foods i think those are tamales i love tamales they're so good i don't know what that is and then we have our skeleton and a sombrero we have some glitter headers here of course coco is a reference in there because it is like the best movie of all time i want to say that's horchata i don't know could be wrong i love horchata i have a guitar we have our solids page patterns gorgeous patterns littles we have the ofrenda, and then we have the deco. We have our bottomashi and a pattern full box, and then here's the fashion. I really wasn't thinking because there's two of that, but I needed this girl and this child in here as well. So that is Dia de los Muertos, which technically my boyfriend and his family do celebrate that. We haven't like had a chance really since we've been together, but he keeps talking about it every year, so I know that it's part of his culture. Next, we have Walking in the Rain, which is a Kenneth Jess set. Um, she's I, there's been like rainy day sets before, but I think she wanted specifically to do a Walking in the Rain one. Um, I guess so. Some of this is like featuring outside scenes. We have the most scared looking cat in a sweater for the indoors. We have our stack of board games. I love this particular like interior scene with like the giant glass windows so you can see the rain outside. That's really cool. We have our plush blankets. Here is somebody actually walking in the rain. We have our um, wax melter over here and then the exterior of a bookshop, which is exactly where you want to be when it's raining outside. Um, we have our solids page, patterns, this girl, I just want it to be the redhead for whatever reason, deco, um, we have dominoes, which is one of those games that, like from my childhood that I still definitely want to play, like Moncala, dominoes, um, Parcheesi, like maybe even Jenga, like just some of those simple games, just give me good vibes, um, 
and Connect Four and all that kind of stuff. We have a cat tissue box over there, which is really cute. Little things. And then bottom washi. And then I think that's like a really cozy bed. Fifth color sampler. And then fashion. There's that couple. And then two extra flat layers of like cozy clothing. Love the color scheme for this one too. That's walking in the rain. And then next we have a Darcy set. She is not as prolific, I feel like. I think she's like super busy. And also I heard that she just got sick recently. So best wishes to her. But this is one of her more recent sets called Winter Warmth. Which is very cool. It's kind of like a little bit witchy. Which I don't really go for the witchy stuff. But um, I'll give it a pass. Because the art is so beautiful. But yeah, there's like a Winter Rituals book in there. And some like candles and stuff. I love this fireplace scene though. The stack of books. Fashion girl with the purple hair. Of course I kept that in there. Candles. It's just a really cute generic winter set. With the great color scheme. That's pretty unique. So we have our solids. Patterns. Deco. But like look at these fashion girls. Whenever there's a girl with like. Crazy colored hair. I gotta go with that one. And then blondie. They're so pretty. Oh, this kitty cat with the bow. And then this flat lay with, I think, tea and a little cake. Oh my goodness. Love that. Little things. Oh, I love this outdoor scene with the candles. That looks like a ritual, though. I don't know. And the bottom washi. So that is winter warmth. Very pretty set, though. She's such a good artist. And then... This one is an Elaine set, Elaine from Coffee Doodles Co. First time featuring her in this haul as well. Um, this is Winter, or Midnight Fantasy, actually. She's also been a little bit less prolific. This is, like, a New Year's Eve kit, but, like, you are, there's, like, a story behind it, apparently. So, I guess you, like, fell asleep before midnight, and then you got, you were in this, like, fantasy dream world, I suppose, which is what this castle situation is. So, some of this is, like, New Year's Eve and some of this is fantasy. So we have some like drinks. We have our fantasy castle here. A purse, book, carriage, the interior of the castle, which looks so pretty. And then our flat lay here. There are shoes, dress, a pretty fan. Solids page, patterns, littles, deco. It shows that fashion girl there. And then there's like a clock, so that's like the New Year's Eve reference. And then a little masquerade mask. Bottom washi. Look at how pretty of a pattern that is with the clouds. And then extra full boxes. She always includes like planner stuff, so of course we have those boxes. And then another double box scene of the interior. And then there's the falling asleep by midnight part for that double box scene. And then two more fashion girls. Such pretty dresses in this one. So that's Asleep My Midnight. Or no, it's called Midnight Fantasy in this in this um, shop. I don't know if I'll use that for New Year's. I might save it for New Year's in the future. But I feel like there's always going to be a New Year's specific kit that I want to use. Alright, next we have Black Friday. Which I feel like, when am I going to use this? Because Black Friday is always like Thanksgiving week. So I might use this just for the week after at one point for like Saturday Monday and whatever just because of vibes but I am a big Black Friday shopper at least online at least with sticker shops like that's really it but yeah I just I do love the concept of Black Friday and things being on sale so had to pick this up in this particular color scheme this is version one um which is like the more gold and black color scheme I forget what colors the other one was maybe more bluish I don't know but we have our double box scene of the mall with all these sale signs. This one's like online shopping. We have our bags. We have just like the makeup and stuff. We have a gift card. Um, and then Cyber Monday sale. So there you go. That's my Cyber Monday reference. And then clothing flat lay with all the clothes on sale. We have our solid page, patterns, deco, double box scene here of like a Black Friday sales counter. It's kind of fun, and of course there's a bunch of teapots there. I just, I love Mel's dedication to including tea in kits. 
um, little things. I just love the Amazon Prime references there because yes, hello, that's me. Bottom washi and then fashion. That's that girl's 100% me. Like that looks like exactly like me. And then that's pretty much like my boyfriend. Like that's his beard style and hairstyle, pretty much. So that's us. So I'm I'm loving that. And then this girl's just so hot. That's a hottie. That is a hottie tall box. So that is Black Friday version one. And then now we have Main Street, which I think this is just like, I want to say like a fall coffee set. It's like leopard print vibes. I just like the yellows and the blacks. So that's, that's really the color scheme that's getting me for this one. But it does feel like very fall vibes. We have our little coffee truck right there. Um, trench coat. And yes, for the flat lay, we have our little bear with a little newsboy cap, which is very cute. Stuffed bear. We have our purse with our coffee, have donuts and a pie, cakes over here, so many treats, and then another purse right here, solids page, patterns, I love the patterns as well, they're nice and bold, and then that pod's really pretty, um, and then there's that flat lay, deco, double box scene of like the shop fronts, that means like a little foiled outline of a person walking along the street like for sure um my god the cat just knocked over the trash can good job cat the littles page there's the uh pattern full box for the quote the bottom washi and then for the fashion i just chose the redheads because the colors just go with or the color for hair goes with the colors of the cat it's just i needed redhead vibes i was just feeling it um okay next we'll go into some more Christmassy winter so we have a Christmas treat which is Nella's like gingerbread baking set which love it I do have a gingerbread foil bundle that would go so well with this or the holiday baking one too because there are some like other cookies in here but yeah we have a little box scene where they're like assembling the gingerbread which is such a cool view this delicious looking gingerbread house gingerbread cookie right here fruit cake i love all the baking parts on this too like i want that stand mixer flour and sugar the colors on this are really pretty too um we have more generic cookies i actually really want to do the holiday baking one just because of like all the other stuff that's in here so there's a perfect example of another kit that is not the spc one that you could use the holiday baking foil for and then the um, apron, we have our deco, double box scene of the kitchen interior here, very modern, glitter headers, little things, solids, patterns, bottom washi, with the cake and the little cloche, and the cake plate, it's so pretty. And then fashion, I love this cute little couple, that's so cute. And that girl looks like me. She looks like, almost like she doesn't want to be there. It's so funny. She's like looking off to the side like, ugh, I don't want this plate of cookies. And then another really hottie top box. Yes, please. Oh my god, the cat found the treats again. She's unstoppable. Okay, and then we have another amazing Nella set, which is Christmas Light. She was really prolific last year. I think she, like, burned out. <laughs> she just did too much cat found the treats again it's gonna happen like several times in the next few seconds i'm sure um but yeah this is like specifically looking at christmas lights so super fun vibes i love how dark this kit is just so you can like see all the light it's better like she did that really well so we have a double box scene here of like all the lights on the houses outside and then there's this like fashion girl looking at them all we have the stuff there holding the coffee, um, stuffed Rudolph and another drink. I'm sorry. There's no way you're not hearing this cat in the background. She's going nuts. Candles. Um, and then we have, again, these are completely out of order. We have the littles, solids, patterns. Um, we have a book of Christmas carols and some more Christmas lights. I don't know. Again, I, should have deleted one of those, but it slipped by me. Deco. 
and then this needs a quote on it for sure these like lights on the trees outside bottom washi and then the fashion again another hottie tall box another cutie couple and then this really pretty girl who's just decked herself out in the lights so i just love that so much christmas light and then we'll take a little detour and go into another silly studio set which is this is evergreen and again love the greens because green's my favorite color and this is a really nice uh christmasy winter set so it's not it's like more wintry than christmas i want to say but it's obviously like there's a lot of christmas elements to it like the tree and the stockings and all that and then a cute little doggy there's some like nutcrackers over here cookies love it all and again these shades of green are perfection it's like a very muted like sage green and we have our deco glitter headers and we have our hot cocoa cookies and then presents little things solids patterns my bottom one she got left behind over there and then we have the bed with that a-frame she loves that a-frame i've noticed silly studio sabine she loves that a-frame and then for the fashion we have this gorgeous curly haired tall box girl and then this girl on the bun which would be me and then that girl showing off her nails so that is evergreen and then next we have another nella set which most of this most of my hauls are Nella because she's the best this is Christmas cuddles which super cute set honestly and this color scheme is to die for I love pastels I love these cuddling kitties that's really all I need in my life is cuddling kitties I wish I had two cats instead of one not just for the reason to watch them cuddle but so they can keep themselves busy and out of <laughs> out of my way a lot of the time double box scene of the bed oh, I love this nutcracker of course um, with the cupcake, we have cookies here, we have ice cream, and the little reindeer, like, squishmallow, essentially. And we have a candle, cozy clothing, flat lay. Um, here's another double box scene I had to break up and, like, remind myself. It looks like a little cozy outdoor couch, I think. And there's deco. We have cuddling puppies, too, in case puppies is more your vibe. And then like a stack of blankets and a cupcake in there. We have our solids, patterns, littles, bottom washi, which these patterns are super pretty with these colors. And then another uh, full box. And then fashion. We have a girl cuddling a baby, which is so freaking cute. We have a couple, couple boxes. Cuddles time and snuggle bunny on those mugs. And then another girl who looks like me love it so much <sighs> when am i gonna use all these kits in my lifetime can't be done and then we have another kittenish just set which is tinsel which is another one with like a very unique color scheme like these kind of muted dark pastels it's like kind of grayish greenish and then this purple shade so yeah this is kind of a generic Christmas one. I love, again, all these friggin' nutcrackers. Everybody uses nutcrackers now, which love. Um, and then this double box scene of the living room with the Christmas tree in front of the bookshelf, which is like a more modern version of mine, I feel like. There's no far place, though, so. Points deducted. Um, and then we have presents and stockings. We have a cake. A little letter board that says, okay, Google deck the halls. I apologize if you have a if you have a Google machine. Um, that's kind of a cool view of that table setting right there. And then Fashion Girl with the sweater. Solid page. Pattern page. Um, littles. Oh, the most gorgeous tall box hottie ever. I need to like copyright the phrase tall box hottie. And then um, deco. Glitter headers and I just stuck a bunch of extra um full boxes on here we have the dude um charcuterie of course and then of course our more explicit reference to the nutcracker it's bugging me now because i know i said in my previous video 
that sometimes in some versions she's not called Clara, she's called something else. And now I can't for the life of me remember what that other name is. I swear, literally half the time when I think of it, I think of that other name too. And I don't remember in Clara. Hey, I need to like look that up. It's driving me nuts. It's going to be so obvious when I think of it. Then we have our bottom washi and then some like furniture with the tinsel on it. That would be a good quote box actually. So that is tinsel. And then we have another kittenish dress set. This is Winter Kisses. Uh, Bisou d'hiver, I think, in French. Which I think was its original title. But yeah, it's like very French winter, which I do love those vibes. I don't think I've been to France in the winter. I think I only have gone during warmer times of the year. Summer, probably. But yeah, I love the blues and whites. It's very classic winter. And here's the cat again, causing more chaos, tearing at my clothing. Oh my god, that hurt. Oh, her nails are so freaking sharp. I'm covered in little little cat cuts. Oh boy, how oh, that hurt. Okay. Blues and pinks. Love this color scheme. This little box scene is amazing, honestly. Like, that art is so freaking good. And, yeah, we have our flat lay with the little latte art. I think that's a this one. It's super cute. Of course, we have our French shopping in two boxes. Not including the cupcake over here. And then really pretty bag. We have our solids, patterns. There's the dude who's like wiping his nose. Um, and then we have two more full boxes here, like the storefront, and then another flat lay. Little things. Pattern full box here, bottom washi, and then the fashion. Teleback scara with the bubble, bubble uh, ponytail. And then we have a girl blowing kisses in front of the Eiffel Tower, and then the couple. Oh, love that. Okay, so I've only got a few left before we start going into the ones that are already in cellos. So let's go ahead and grab this next one, which is Christmas Countdown. Another gorgeous Christmas set from last year that I think pretty much everybody picked up. Um, and again, I love this kind of traditional color scheme, this dark red. And this, this green is kind of a sagey green again, which love that combination. I really just love this piano box, honestly. I feel like I got this kit mostly for the piano being present but it is nice that there's like a, a countdown and like a teapot and like gingerbread stuff in here too hot cocoa with the cutest little mini gingerbread house like on the edge of that cup that looks so fun um and now i've got our presents over here milk and cookies wrapping going on and there's like some sheet music and then i love the bubble box scene of the snow covered houses and then plenty of sweets just scattered throughout. Here we have the littles page, deco, um, and then a full box of like card writing, which I need to get back into. I think I've said it. Um, and then more full boxes here with like cookie making and um, some presents here. Glitter hovers on that page, solids, patterns. Love the patterns. And the bottom wash with the candy canes. Oh, that's a really pretty box. That tree needs a lot of foil decoration on it, if you ask me. And then fashion. Um, I printed off these gals. And then this box of ornaments is also an extra full box. But yeah, that's definitely me. Like, drinking my hot drink in my cozy sweater in front of the piano. Yep, because I usually go to my parents' house for Christmas. And they have the piano there. So that is definitely me every year. Okay, and then next we have two more Christmas kits. So this one is um, Christmas Movie. This is another of Nella's sets. And obviously I had to pick it up because I will buy anything that's like either Christmas movies or spooky movies. Um, and of course I love the traditional colors. So we have like our little light box that says Christmas Movie Marathon. And then there's some actual movies in here, which we have. Yes, The Polar Express, my favorite movie. Um, I'm pretty sure like I recommended that. Or 
if I didn't, I would have if I had known. Um, we have Home Alone, Miracle on 34th Street, The Santa Claus, and Elf. We have, like, all the classics in there. Not all of them, but, like, those are definitely some of my personal favorite classics that I've seen. Because I there's a lot that I haven't seen. Um, and there's, like, Fruitcake here, a Little Grinch Plush. Um, I think it's, like, a Collie dog. Super cute. You don't see many Collies, like, in real life. I don't think I know anybody who has a Collie. The dogs around here are pretty much always, like, pit bulls, German Shepherds, Rottweiler. Well, we live in kind of a bad area right now, so everybody's got, like, their guard dogs, which is why we got a German Shepherd. Um, but yeah, I haven't, those are, like, some of my favorite dogs, so I'm glad to see them as we walk by, but it's usually those dogs. Um, and then I think there's this Chihuahuas around here, too. Um, and I feel like it's kind of it. Not too many, well, I don't think many people have Collies just in general. But yeah, I don't think I've seen a Collie in real life in like a very long time, if ever. Anyways, we have a flatly here with all these cozy clothes. Um, we have our like hot cocoa tiered tray here, which honestly is goals. And then a little like Buddy the Elf plush. <laughs> I love all these like plushes. Um, and then a flat light with milk and cookies and treats. And then I think she had a few options where you could choose what movie was on the screen for this double box scene. So I chose The Grinch. It was hard to pick because I think I wanted both options. But um, I went with The Grinch. This actually was not the original double box scene. It was like a more zoomed out version of this scene with nothing on the TV. So I just replaced it with um, one with something on the TV. You know, because I wasn't going to use both. And I would rather have like some something that I knew on the TV, so I chose that one. I love that we should just Christmas trees. So cute. Um, cat hair. Let me get that out the way. Then we have solids, patterns. Ooh, such cute patterns. Littles, deco, and I chose this kid's box, although they should technically have black hair. That is okay. That kind of, like, because we have, like, two kids in the household now that we have our house guests, like, staying with us. Um, so we have our girl, and then that's, that would be their boy, which is super cute. They are older than that, but I'm just going to pretend it's them. Um, glitter headers, two boxes over here. We have, I think that's, like, a little snowman plush and a, like, a Polaroid camera, maybe. Um, and then the charcuterie tray over here with cookies as well. Yum. Oh, I love this bottom washi choice. And then there's, like, another scene with another TV that, um, I forget if there was options for this one, too. I don't think so, but I believe that's Matilda on the TV, which I love Matilda. I love the book even better than the movie. I grew up reading the book, and it, like, had a lasting impact on me, as did a lot of Roald Dahl's books. But the movie's really cute, too. I think the movie kind of does it justice. And we have yet another movie scene here where you could, like, I think pick what was on the TV. Or maybe you couldn't. I have no idea. This one is the Santa Claus, I think, that's on the TV. And then there's, like, a little couple box, which is so cute. Um, and then, oh, yeah, that's, I guess, an alternate for that. Oh, great. Now I have to choose which one to go with because I didn't notice that they were, like, kind of the same box so that one is like home alone themed i think i'll probably go with the original just because like i feel like red is a better clothing color um and then i just put more little things on that page and then like for the regular fashion we have this tall box girl with um the home alone shirt this girl with the popcorn she kind of reminds me of me and then the guy who again would kind of be like my boyfriend if he shaved maybe and then I'm not too, too sure what's on the screen in the background. I think it's Miracle on 34th Street. But yeah, that is Christmas movie. And then our last Christmas kit, I think for this haul, is Pink Christmas. And this is very cute, and I love the Nutcracker elements in this. But yeah, I mean, I love traditional colors for Christmas, but I'll go with pink. Like, I can enjoy a good pink themed anything I'm just I'm I'm not a pink girl in real life but in my planner I just love the color pink for some reason I think this shade of pink and green and brown I think they all go together really well um so yeah we have our double box scene here of some kind of building exterior with like nutcrackers around the doors which are so fun we have um a stocking here in the flat lay 
I have ginger, two gingerbread houses actually. Um, and a delicious looking hot cocoa. We have a candle over here. I'm dreaming of a pink Christmas, it says. That's fun. We have a stack of books with another delicious drink. Some really pretty gloves. Um, we have like a little sleigh. I have like a sleigh that I'm using as a candy dish. It's really nice. And it's like a very old fashioned, like vintage type thing that I got as, um, I got from like a neighborhood exchange thing. Um, I think it was like five bucks, but it's so pretty. And I, when I do my Christmas tablescape, I usually put that up. And I have like a little pink cake over here and then a snow globe. Here's our littles page, solids patterns. Oh, I love these like giant blocky patterns. They're really pretty. Deco. We have kind of a more modern record player here. And then a uh, Christmas cookie baking flat lay. Bottom washi. And then this like scene with the Christmas tree that's kind of plain. So this would be like your quote box. And then Oh yeah, so we do have an extra page of full boxes, which I love. The more the merrier. So this one's like a little gingerbread advent, which is so super cute. Like, I would love that in real life. Um, and this one, which has like makeup and then a CD or a vinyl. Um, I think it's a vinyl. And then pink ice skates in this one. And then letters to Santa in this one. And then the hot cocoa with the little marshmallow snowman in that. That is super cute, actually. I need. I want to do that. That looks super cute. And there's like Christmas crackers there too. And then fashion. I think I chose Blondie for whatever reason. So that's a gorgeous dress. That's less my style. But um, actually neither of those are really something I would wear. But the girls look cute in them. And then there's one scene of a hand putting ornaments on a tree. So that's Pink Christmas. I just really like the Pink Christmas vibe. Okay. And then we have a couple winter kits in this stack um so this one is ice rink this is so funny because i saw nella like sneak this months and months before she actually like fully released to the set and i think she took down the post because when i went back back looking for it i was like where is that post because i think she like took it down because she did it too early and then like waited a few months to release it and then i was like oh hey that's where it was because i thought i would like hallucinated it it's so funny sage knows i was talking hard like didn't you remember seeing like an ice skating post from the <laughs> yeah. and she's like no I don't think so I'm like I swear I didn't make that up <laughs> so it, I'm feel vindicated about that but yeah this is the ice skating uh set that I apparently did not hallucinate so I'm glad it's here we do go ice skating every year so I would probably spend more time on the ice if we had like a rink near us that I guess I knew about because I, I mean there might be one I don't know I haven't really bothered to look into it but it would be nice. I used to, like, take ice skating lessons, I think, when I was doing I took, like, all kinds of lessons. I learned a little bit of everything, pretty much. I did a lot. I think I had my birthday party at an ice rink one time. And my mom, like, made it penguin-themed. She was the best at theming birthday parties. Like, honest to God, I don't know if I would ever be able to live up to that. When, when we have, like, a, a child together, I think I will probably be asking her for a lot of advice. Like, we as in me and my boyfriend. I'll be asking her advice on theming parties, because I know my boyfriend ain't going to do it. <laughs> um, anyways. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of reminiscing about ice skating going on. But yeah, love this art as always. Um, we have our double box scene of just the ice rink, which I think would be good for a deco and quotes. We have mac and cheese and hot dogs and um, hot cocoa, which <laughs> I didn't know the ice rink served food but that's like a very funny choice to me. <laughs> and there's like chips over here, more hot cocoa, of course, the cozy clothing and ice skates, the bag, the chocolate, and then one of the fashion girls. And then the tall box hottie right here. And then there's the little kids in this one, which is super cute. Aurora does ice skate with me. She's pretty good, actually. She's good at a lot of things. She's a little mini me, for sure. And then we have our little things, our solids patterns and then we have the full box with like the little training thing like I don't know what it's called it's like kind of like a walker but for the ice for little kids 
but as I stated, I took lessons, so I don't think I ever needed to use that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I keep t talking like I'm the best ice skater in the world, which I'm not, but I'm pretty good. I would say that I'm like slightly better than average. Um, okay, and then next, the last of the ones that I had out on my desk is Snowy Cabin. This is another Elaine set, which I'm just loving the greens on. I think she usually does two colorways, so I picked the one, or I guess I think Amanda already had the one that was like the very green colorway that I preferred. Um, so I'm very happy for that. The greens and pinks, very nice. It was almost impossible to get my printer to print this shade of green like semi-correctly. So it's still not completely accurate to how it looks on the screen, but it's as close as I could get. And honestly, like when you print it out, like who cares? As, as long as you're not comparing it to the computer, like a color is a color, like you can't really barely tell. Um, there's just, like, some instances where it looks a little bit washed out, but, like, in the grand scheme of things, like, I think you can't really tell. But, yeah, my printer is still better than all the other ones that I've had. If, in case you, um, are using a Canon to print off, like, graphics like this, uh, I will give you a hint and do you a favor by suggesting that you switch to an Epson EcoTank, because I've tried them all. I've tried HP, I've tried Canon, and I've tried the Epson EcoTank. And me and a lot of other sticker shops will agree that the Epson EcoTank is the one to choose um, in terms of at least like how you can adjust color. There's more options for that, but the default is still like better than the other brands from what I found. Anyways, after my little rant on that, um, and also by the way, it is an EcoTank, so the ink does last forever and it's fantastic. Could not recommend it enough actually. I mean there's still there's still the usual problems with printers, but in the grand scheme of things, like it's a fair trade-off for color accuracy. Anyways, now let's get into the kit. This is obviously snowy cabin themed, so there's other kind of snowy cabin stuff, like um a little bonfire outside for the double box scene. We have our hockey stuff going on over here. We have this cute little like Christmas tree in a in a pot, crock pot over here. The little newspaper says stickers and plans, which of course I love her phones because I like seeing what she puts on them in the flat lays. Um, it does look like it's kind of scenes from this kit, obviously, to kind of keep the color scheme the same. I don't know what that food is, but it looks good. Whatever it is, maybe it's cereal. Funny story from tonight in real life. Um, I was like, me and my boyfriend and Aurora were in bed, like watching a movie, and like she got up for something, and I was, I turned to him and I was like, oh, I want like a, a cake or a brownie or a cookie or something. But in my head, I was like deciding like what I want from something that we actually have because we didn't have any pastries on hand, which is a crime that needs to be rectified the next time I go to the grocery store. But I was craving something sweet and he like got up and like I didn't know what he was doing for a little bit and then I heard the sound of like cereal being poured and I like shot up like a rocket because I was thinking in my head that I kind of maybe wanted a bowl of cereal and so I went over and I was like you're pouring cereal I wanted cereal and he was like yeah I'm making you a bowl <laughs> when he was making me a bowl with my cereal it was the sweetest thing I've ever seen in my life like he's not the the type to typically do stuff like that but it was so sweet he made him, uh, himself a bowl after that so we were just eating cereal watching a movie together it was oh, it was so sweet so that's what cereal reminds me of it was you know because he doesn't do stuff like that so it was very unusual and just a little touched my heart a little bit um just little things you know just little things because he never does that he never like makes me food like spontaneously kind of <sighs> so nice. Anyways, um, looks like we also have a stack of planners, some iced coffee with a little knit cozy around it. We have the trunk open on the car with some like blankets and, and scarves and stuff. And next page, of course, there's like a million full boxes because Elaine usually includes a bunch of clip art in her sets to choose from. So we have like some mugs and, um, like insulated cups over there. We have clothing flat lay, a puzzle flat lay, which yes, please. Um, hot cocoa and cookies on this one. 
have another drink and more cozy things. Oh, I didn't realize those were kind of the same. I would have not printed both of those, but those are different skin tones for the hot cocoa and cookies. And then we have like more sweets and treats over here and more cookies right there. So much good stuff in there. And that's not even all of it. There's, there's more. Um, we have our little things page, solids. Oh, I love these. These colors are fantastic patterns. That pattern is to die for with the trees. Oh my god, there's still a third one. Usually I'm better about not printing off duplicates when I'm printing off my own kits, but I failed. Um, so there's a third skin tone. Glitter headers. And then there's like all the planner stuff. I think she does like the little planner add-on for pretty much every single art set. Deco, little snowman box there. I like the shading in that one, or like the lighting rather. And this pattern was perfect for the day covers and the bottom washi for sure. Um, and then the extra boxes, we have fashion. I love that girl's hair. Tall box hottie. And then this girl who has also amazing hair. And then there's more full boxes. So we have another flat lay here. And then more drinks here. And then another double box scene of like the house on the lake in the snow, which is so pretty. So that snowy cabin definitely lives up to its name of being very snowy. All right, now we get to go into the stack where I gotta open stuff up. What do we got here? We got fall, we got Halloween. I think it's mostly like fall and Halloween actually. Yeah. I think this is like the only kit in here that is not following. Actually, no, that's not either. Do you want me to like organize this or should we just do it randomly? I kind of want to organize it because I just prefer things that way. So you get to see me do it on screen and you get spoilers of everything that I'm going to go over in a second. I guess that is not... I guess that's kind of fall. There's fall foliage outside. I'll put that in fall. Fall. Pretty much all of this is Nella because of course it is. That one's not. That's Emma. Um, fall. Halloween and fall. Okay. This one is technically fall, but it's like pop culture themed first. So this is one of Emma's sets. This was her autumn magic. So like Harry Potter inspired set. I'm not sure what's like autumn about this. I guess maybe the color scheme. But yeah, we have our girl with the purple hair <laughs> and her hoodie says it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. And she's reading a book. Um, and then we have Alohomora on that hoodie with a wand. It's a little Hufflepuff scarf right there. Um, a bunch of spell books and stuff in that one. We have some Potion ingredients, constant curse, snake venom, unicorn's blood, and moth dust. <laughs> That's cool. Um, and then we have this hand holding a little Harry Potter themed like coffee, which is super cute. We have a little globe here that says don't let the mom or don't let. I guess there should be the word let there, which is not there, but that's okay. Don't let the muggles get you down. Mischief managed Harry Potter glasses, and then the double box scene of like a Harry Potter themed room with the broom and everything. Love it. Um, and then here's the glitter headers and then two more boxes with books. One, two, three, and four. And another flat lay with like cinnamon rolls, tea, and a planner. Deco. Littles. Solids. All the colors for these two. Patterns bottom washi and then there's like the mirror in the room which is the mirror of Arisad that's so cool and then the fashion tall box hottie right there I think this is like an alternate version of that that's like the Ravenclaw with the Ravenclaw scarf and then another Alohomora so I guess yeah I, I didn't realize that they were duplicates since I'm a Ravenclaw I think I legally have to go by that one although why I printed off extra of the Hufflepuff patterny fancy labels I don't know anyways yeah, so that is auto magic. And then for the rest of the, no, there's like three more anytime. So this one is a Jess art. This is, what's it called? Bookish. I think we all loved this one. Anybody who reads, which is most of us, I feel like. But yeah, 
this color scheme on this is just to die for like honestly i'm glad i have this as a printable because i feel like if there's a bookish kit that i would reuse it would be this one just ugh, these pastel colors are to die for um and i just love this like bookshelf in the background this like double box scene mm, is perfection i love the um perspective i love like the modern white bookshelf in the background which is goals so pretty and these gorgeous flowers in front of it kitten scroll library candle and that viewpoint is really cool i love it when she does her overhead shots um with, uh, the hand holding the little like iced coffee there we have our stanley cup of course read return repeat mm -hmm. stack of fluffy pillows we have our little like reading journal right here with an audiobook on the phone this is best book ever i need to get into audiobooks i'm still in my podcast era i i want so badly to start doing audiobooks too but i just like don't think i have the enough time to keep up with the podcast that i sub to and listen to audiobooks like i just don't have enough time to be listening to things i still read physical books but i want to do audiobooks too i just can't tear myself away from podcasts yet one day i'll get there <sighs> one day um anyway we have our stack of books here which is the Way of Kings, The Hobbit, Heartstopper, Legends and Lattes. Is that even a real book? The Fifth Season, The Priory of the Orange Tree. I feel like at least most of those are real books. I mean, obviously The Hobbit is. Can't say I've heard of the other ones. Uh, the Way of Kings, I think I've heard of. And then we have like more coffee shop stuff here. Mm, so pretty, these colors. I'm telling you glitter headers we have um oh yeah that's obviously goodreads pulled up on the laptop which i think all of us use goodreads at this point by the way like i am on goodreads i sometimes occasionally put it on instagram stories to like follow me there i think my username is firefox9799 i believe you can try to look me up that way i don't know but yeah of course i recognize that don't recognize the bookstation eternity but yeah, and then there's like an e-reader there. I still have the Kindle Paperwhite. I will never give up my Kindle Paperwhite. Even when it got stolen, I got a new one of, like, I think a newer version. I don't know. I just love the Kindle Paperwhite as my e-reader of choice. But that looks like a fancier one. Anyway. That page, and then Deco with more gorgeous color scheme. Little solids, patterns... And then so much of this distorted checker, which I do have distorted checker underlays, which would be perfect for this. And that would be great for a quote, which again, I do have a books collection that allows for customizable quotes. If you want to put a bookish quote in there. And then we have um, another couple full boxes here. One is like the outside of the Magpie Bookshop. And then one of them is like a little tea tray. And then I think a manga there. And then these look like the special editions of classic books i think that one might be alice in wonderland which i do own i have like i want to say close to 60 versions of alice in wonderland by now i'm collecting them anyways we have a tall box here hand holding a plant we have this cutie right here in the beret and then this girl reading a book i chose blondies again i don't know what it is with me and blondies i don't i didn't used to be the girl who chose blondies all the time but now I'm the girl who chooses blondies quite a lot. It just it just works with this color scheme of the kit. I mean, I've said it before. That's kind of my my way to choose these days. All right, and then these next two are Nella sets. So we have Rain on My Window, which I think I just went over a just rainy one. So now we have the Nella rainy one, which obsessed with rainy kits. And it has been raining here lately, so I'd be vibing with this. Um, I do have my rainy foil bundle exclusive that I still have to put in the shop. I was going to say you can buy it, but you can't because I still haven't freaking listed it. Oh yeah, because I want to do a whole collection is the thing. It'll come, I swear, it'll come. Okay. Um, so yeah, rain on my window. It's very like dark and purpley, which I love. This color scheme. I love this like tea box. Oh my god, yes. And like the, the book, open book with the pages and made into a heart shape is very cute. This little puppy is very, it looks like a German Shepherd puppy almost. It might be. I know that Nella has a German Shepherd too, so we're kind of twins in that now. Um, double box scene of like the cozy interior of a bedroom with like stacks of books everywhere. Oh my god, these kittens in the little blanket looking at the rain outside. Oh, that's super sweet. 
by the way, the, the cat is asleep now, so in my opinion, we have only a matter of time before she starts causing havoc again in my room, but in my office. So we're going to try to get through this before she does. But that is so super cute. Oh, we have like cross stitching here, which I do do cross stitching. Oh my god, yes. I love this. Bar of chocolate, which I do eat bars of chocolate. I feel like I'm the only person who does that. I don't, however, have these little cow slippers, but they're very cute. That delicious looking hot cocoa drink. We have like a little lava cake there for dessert and some more cookies. Mm. I love all the things in this. This is, this is like vibes. I be vibing. And then there's like a little tomato soup with bread, journal, candles, cookies. Love it. Uh, glitter headers there. Deco here. Um, littles. Solids. Patterns. Bottom washi. And then this box, which would be perfect for a quote. And then a couple more fashions here. That one's me with the bun, obviously. Holding tea, reading a book. And then that one, I just, I think I chose the fun hair. Just cause. She's also got a tattoo. <sighs> Obsessed. So that is right on my window. Definitely will have plenty of chances to use that because it, it definitely gets raining here quite a bit. And then this next one is Zoo. I actually combined a couple of shops for this one. Actually, let me um, stop this because I think my phone's about to run out of memory. So I will be back in one second to go over this. Okay, so as I was saying for this one, I had to purchase the kit from Apple Blossom Prints and then also from Pink Planner Shop because there were some extra boxes in Pink Planner Shop that Apple Blossom Prints did not have with some extra animals. And Nella did so many animals for this that I just needed to have all of them, of course. So I did a little combining and copying and pasting but I mean I kind of always do so it was no biggie but yeah obviously I need a zoo kit to add to my collection of many many zoo kits for all of the very few times that we go to the zoo we still have to check out the zoo here and I say that literally every time I bring out a zoo sticker but it's still true and again love all the green so we have the entrance to the zoo here in this double box scene um we have a camera, backpack, some SPF, we have a flat lay with a little giraffe shirt, a lion hat, a um, little candy bar, and a zoo VIP pass, and then the rest is animals. So we've got our little red panda, so cute, our actual panda, a couple snakes, which I'm so glad, and then a couple tigers. Snakes and tigers are my favorites, and I love that little black and white striped tiger. Aww. I love them all. And then, of course, this is the page from Pink Planner Shop that had all of these creatures. So we have our giraffe, penguins, um, flamingo, meerkats, hippo, zebra, and elephant. This is a little box scene right here. Um, seal. And then on this page, we have the lion and the polar bear. Oh my god, I cannot imagine how long it took Nella to do all of the, these animals. That's insane. It's not even all of them either. Glitter headers. This is an older kit format. We have our giraffe patterned box. Uh, that would be great for a quote. I have all kinds of animal print underlays as well. I have like animal tracks. I have giraffe skin, snake skin, um, like tiger stripes, leopard print. I think that might be it, or maybe there's one more. I'm not sure. I have a few uh, zebra stripes as well. So you can combine a lot of those. Um, and I also have a zoo foil bundle exclusive that would be perfect for this. Here's the solids. Um, not solids, the littles. This is the solids. And then the patterns, bottom washi with some like zoo food in there. And then extra full boxes. We have yet more animals. We have um, a girl holding a koala. We have that girl who looks like me with the curly bun with the kangaroos, um, this girl with her little one, which is super cute, and then this girl in the picture with, I think it's a quokka, I believe, and there's some pretty washi up there, some planner stuff, and then the boxes on this page, we have like the welcome to the zoo sign, which would be great for a quote over here, or like a, a large animal foil overlay, and then the little, the man and his little boy there, so 
got the whole family right here. Super cute. That, that does look like Gilbert if he, uh, my boyfriend, if he shaved. And then um, she also included like a whole page of these extra little zoo icons. So we're going to the zoo. So I did just print them off here to add to my like icons binder after I'm done using this set. So that is zoo. And now we can get into fall and Halloween. Which one should we do first? Let's just do Halloween because there's fewer of them. There's only five Halloween kits in here. This one is, I guess, not super Halloween, but it's kind of spooky. This one is Salem Witches. I was waiting a long time for her to do this. At first I was afraid that, like, nobody was going to do it. But then she finally came out with it. Thank goodness. I love these grays. There's, like, a lot of, like, warm bluish grays in here that are so unique, I feel like. But yeah, this is very witchy, very Salem-y. I have said it a million times, I'm not really a witchy vibes person, but I just feel like there's a lot of, um, like, movies that this kit would be good to mark, or just as, like, an anytime Halloween kit. This house looks familiar. Is that, like, the Hocus Pocus house or something? Like, it looks so familiar. I don't know. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. But yeah, we have our witch's brew, little potion going on here, some potion ingredients. We have moth wings. So it's funny, the other kit had moth dust, this one has moth wings. And instead of unicorn's blood, we have bat blood. But somehow they both include snake venom. <laughs> Always gonna have your snake venom. And then we have our cauldron, the prettiest owl ever. And it's like a barn owl. More snake venom, marmalade, a little sunflower in there. Spell book with mushrooms, mortar and pestle. Which is hat lantern. That's like the fourth lantern. Lantern count number four. Was that this video or last last video? I think it was this video that we were doing the lantern count. Um, and then we have these really pretty witchy shoes, the broom. A lot of these I feel like are from the or just like recolors from the forest witch set that I use. I need to print that off and do that in a haul too. I don't have a printed copy for myself of that one. I don't think. But yeah, a lot of the things look familiar, like the witch's hat, I think, was definitely in there, and the broom, too, probably. But yeah, I love these dark colors. We have a little Binx cat here, which, again, I think is a Hocus Pocus reference, but also, you know, witches and black cats are like this. Um, and then we have a really pretty, like, dress or shirt there. Glitter headers. Deco. Uh, little things. Solids patterns, bottom washi, this would be a great quote box, and then we have um, some more fancy labels in this extra box with the sign in it, Black Street, Salem, Dark Lane, Blood Avenue, Moon Crescent, well that's a really pretty background with the like, the, um, the little village back there, I guess that's just a zoomed in version of that, um, and then tall box hottie right here, the really really smoking outfit and then this really pretty girl right here in the dress and then this girl with this super boss hair and a tattoo of course she's hot too love that one say how much is i'll use that for some kind of some kind of movie i feel like is going to be the vibe speaking of which next we have gothic romance this is darcy art um this is our frankenstein inspired kit which i don't think there have been too many of, the, of those so and of course Darcy art is the best. So pretty much anything she puts out, I'll need. Same with Nella. Same with all these people, honestly. Um, but yeah, this is very Frankenstein inspired. So we have two like characters that are not necessarily Frankenstein's monster and the bride of Frankenstein, but you know, inspired by. But we do have our dear old Frankenstein's monster right there. Um, I think that's the actor who played him, maybe originally. I don't know who exactly, but like Boris something. Couldn't tell you what the last name is, but I bet that's probably the original actor. And this gorgeous double box scene of the mansion. We have some books here. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, Human Anatomy, and Biography of James Whale. Who's that? I don't know. I actually don't think I've read Frankenstein, or if I did, I have forgotten all of it by now. I've read some classics, but not all of them, for sure. 
I don't know. I feel like I should. I feel like I have to to call myself a Frankenstein fan, which I don't really call myself, but I just, I like monsters, so I feel like it's something I should know. I have a toad here, an electricity ball. Um, I think that's like lip gloss or something. That's funny. And then a moth. We have some more makeup here and shampoo, purple shampoo. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to use to preserve your hair dye, I believe. Um, and then a heart in a jar and some other like test tube stuff. My glitter headers. Deco and then a full box with like the bottom of her outfit with all of her skirts. We have our little things, solid or patterns, solids. And then bottom washi with all this lightning and the lightning pattern to full box. These were why I did the lightning underlays as requested. Um, and then I have our tall box hottie here. It's super gorgeous. And some fancy labels. And then some more full boxes here. We have the, the test tubes with the rose. The little holding hands. And then like a scene of the lab. I love this. So many full boxes though. But when has that ever been a problem for me before? Just requires a little bit more math, that's all. Okay. And then next we have Jess Art. This was one of her Halloween ones. I don't know if she did multiple. This might have been the only one. But this is Haunted Bookshop. You can always count on Jess to do a variation on a book theme, which I will always say yes to. And I think we all loved this one. This is another like very grayscale one that I am just so in love with. Um, and just you, you just know that the foil is going to pop over this. Like silver, matte silver, I feel like a lot of people would go with. But if the kit itself... I mean, okay, yes, it, it does follow my philosophy that if the full boxes are not too, too busy, you can get away with a matte foil. And if it's like a busier, like full box situation, then you need silver to actually make it not silver, but like a shiny foil to actually make it pop. So I, I don't know. I just really want to use silver just cause I know it's going to pop even more, but I feel like this is one of the few kits you could get away with like doing matte silver with for the overlays. I mean, I have it as a printable, so I could literally just do some like silver one week and then reprint it and do matte silver the next yeah I don't even know I feel like I just gotta do silver because it's gonna pop against this dark kit so well I have to try it but yes um double box scene of the interior of the haunted bookshop I think it's it doesn't look like an abandoned bookshop it does look like it's still like open Actually, no, never mind. If it's all boarded up, then yeah, it's been abandoned. But I don't know. I feel like you could still go in there and pick out some books. But yeah, there we have the exterior. And then you can see a little ghosty girl in the window. A little jump scare there. We have a little statue or a bust, I guess. A stack of books. We have some um, actual book covers here. We have the King in Yellow, which I've never heard of. And then Dracula and then Turn of the Screw. We have some hands here with a moth. I love the scene of the armchair with the book stack next to it. And then this very spooky mirror with, I'm sure, a ghost reflection in it. And a candle. And then next we have a, a skull and a broken mirror. Um, we have a little heart-shaped tin with a locket inside. And an open up book and a package. Here's the deco, very grayscale little things, solids and patterns. Bottom washi with this really pretty like book pattern, like book page pattern, I guess. And then the pattern full box as well is perfect. We have the ghost girl in the tall box and then another girl who I don't think is supposed to be a ghost um, holding the candelabra. I think that is... Not I think. I chose the black haired girl because it just matched the, the vibes. There's this book that I read as a kid that I, that this kid is just like giving me vibes of. Man, I don't remember what it's called, but I just remember so vividly like the story of the book. And I have read it like fairly recently. It's like a book where 
um, I think a, like a magician or just a dude and his assistant get called to the castle to figure out why like the princess is being haunted or whatever by like ghosts and like spooky things keep happening but then I think he like discovers that it's like an act that's being put on and there's like a larger plot that's going on behind the scenes and the princess is like faking it but it's because of x y and z I don't know it's really good I think the kid's name is Fabrizio the main character but I can't tell you what the freaking book title is it just like gave me vibes of that for some reason I wouldn't mind rereading that even though it's definitely like a kid's book I read some pretty good kids books back in my day. Okay, these next two kits are both... Mm, are they both Noah? Or, no, this is not. This is Emma. And then the next one's Noah. So this is Emma's kit called... Or Emma's art set. And the kit is called Spooky Babe. So I think this is kind of like spooky movies. Pretty much. So... We have, um, like, Fashion Girl here. I think that is the bed right there. Um, we have our little Halloween mug and then this sack of movies in the background. We have Halloween, Trick or Treat. I've seen both of those. Happy to say. Um, Scream, Halloween 2. Don't know what that one is. And then Beetlejuice. We have It on the TV. Of course, we have our popcorn bowl. Yummy, yummy. The little box scene of the... Like living room interior all decked out for halloween this cute little kitty cat there and then some monster themed um sweets which is funny and then here we have the glitter headers two extra full boxes we have our halloween pizza and cookies and then a sweater socks keys and a card game deco little things, solids, patterns, bottom washi, pattern full box, and then fashion over here with our tall box girl, and then this girl with the like fishnet pants, which is pretty cool, and then spooky brownies, which looks so yummy, and some jack-o'-lanterns. Still craving brownies, honestly. So that is spooky babe. I feel like that'd be a good generic Halloween kit. And then next we have spooky movies, which is definitely a Noah art set. So she did Christmas movies and spooky movies. Yay. Okay. With the perfect traditional orange and purple and black color scheme. So yeah, we have our double box scene of, again, the living room interior. Spooky movie night. We have a pumpkin cake that looks so good right there with some wine. Um, we have the coziest blanket and a yummy drink, some candy corn and Reese's, another black cat right here. Um, black cats definitely seem to be the vibe. That's like three kits at least that have had them. Um, Ouija board, cookies, uh, movie snacks, yummy. And then a stack of movies. What's in this one? We got Nightmare on Elm Street, still need to see it. Harry Potter's one through eight, Halloween, Friday the 13th, and Hocus Pocus. And then more popcorn here, yummy that camera and then half a Snickers and then we have pizza here so much of this kit is like so much of the elements are kind of the same it's so funny a little bear like beanbag chair kind of thing jack-o-lantern here's the deco um third boxes why is that the only black one? Oh, because I had to repeat these this whole row was black or column was black and then I took it out because it wasn't writable and then repeated the purple but kept the black for the header. Solids, patterns, bottom washi pattern full box, and then fashion. This tall box hottie with the little cat onesie. Um, this girl with these really cute pajamas. I have pajamas exactly like this, but they're like black with um, white lining instead of like Halloween y. But that's very cute. I think she is. Like. A little spiderweb tattoo on her cheek too and then this girl with the skeleton tracksuit which is really cool okay that is spooky movies and that is everything halloween -y specific and now we just have fall stuff left so there's six kits here okay so let's i don't know if you'd hear that train but we do live near like a train junction 
So there's a lot of train action. This one is a, I think Silly Studio kit. So this is October Lane. I always love pretty much any kit that has this like pumpkin structure here. I've never seen one in real life. I would love to, but I love those. That was probably like part of pumpkin patches. This is like the best pumpkin patch. <sighs> it's vibes. It's goals. And then we have this little puppy here who is on October Lane, according to the sign. Purse flowers. There's a little map of like the pumpkin patch, which is super fun. Cinnamon roll. I think those are like oatmeal cookies. We have some tickets, pumpkins, apples and apple cider, and soup, and a little lamb. I think that's a lamb. Or maybe that's a baby cow. That, no, I feel like it's a baby cow. That's not a lamb. I know what a baby lamb looks like. That's that's a cow, right? Please confirm for me. Um, then we have yet another full page of full boxes, of course, because she always includes so many options. We've got some fashion on here, clothing, flat lay, popcorn. And then a little, like, tiny gingerbread, like, pumpkin truck, which is super cute. Um, I think these are, like, little dispensers for stuff to feed the animals, maybe. And then we have a double box scene of the cart with the pumpkins in it. Um, glitter headers, and then we have a scene of, like, the road lined with pumpkins, deco, um littles, solids, patterns. Bottom wash, we have the sign that I swear she uses like the same kind of sign in every of her every one of her sets. Sign for the petting zoo, cider mill, bakery, apple orchard, pumpkin patch, pumpkin carving, and dog park. Wow, I want to go there if it has that many things. If this is a real place, I want to go there. Tall box hottie, pumpkin carving scene, and then little free hayride tickets. Oh, free hayride. Wow. I definitely want to go there for the extra boxes page. So that is October Lean. Yet another one of my many pumpkin patch kits for all of the times that I go to a pumpkin patch. Okay, next we are back to some Nella art. This is The Forest. So this is kind of generic fall foresty art, which I love so much because I would love to go into this forest. It's so magical. This double box scene of the forest here with like little stag in the back. I have these cute little shoes with a little robin in front. We need more kids with birds in them, honestly. Oh, and the squirrel is so cute. Oh my god, and in front of the cinnamon cookies. We have some cozy blankets and pillows on like the trunk, and there's a little bark candle. Clothing flat lay over here. We have a crock pot with the mushrooms, the ginger, and the owl. I love how much Nella does owls. <laughs> Do love a good owl. And then this fashion girl here, the pinky hair, and leaves. Here's the glitter headers. And then another clothing flat lay. And there's the robin again in front of the lantern. That's lantern count five, I believe. I think. And then we have deco, littles, solids, patterns, bottom washi. And then that's like the perfect quote pattern full box. We have another double box scene. I love that that girl's got the bun because that's me. She's being kissed by a fox, which is super cute. And then two more fashions, which I think I just chose randomly. Love that so much. So that's the forest. I think that's just like a fall anytime kit pretty much. Uh, next we have fall fairground. Another Nella set. Kind of self-explanatory with the theme there. We have llamas here for some reason. They're super cute. Um, then we have our double box scene here with all the little stands. We have hot beverages, sweet treats, and drinks. And we have one of those drinks in this box with the basket of apples. Fashion girl here holding a candy apple. Uh, then we have our menu for the drinks. Latte, hot chocolate, apple cider, tea, and mulled wine. Great selection. We have corn dogs here and then little cookies. And then I think that's like a cone of something in there. Looks like an apple pie cone, which honestly is a great concept. Uh, we have some kind of cider here with donuts, cute little hat, and a little scarecrow plush. Adorable. Um, glitter headers. Then we have our little sign up post that says food games, hayride, pumpkin patch, and sweets. <laughs> Lantern count six. <laughs> 
Good lord, is she doing a, a lantern in every single art set? That's awesome. Keep them coming. Um, flat lay with a clothing flat lay with the cutest boots and also a sunflower. High Sage, the biggest sunflower fan. Deco, and then a box here holding the um, candy apple. I do love a good candy apple. I had a dream that I like concocted this new food creation the other day that was like I was basically turning everything into a candy apple. Like, I was making like cakes into candy apples and cupcakes and muffins into candy apples and an apple pie candy apple. I don't even know what I was, how I was combining those, but I just was and it was the best. And I woke up being so freaking disappointed that like that isn't a thing you can do in real life. I always have dreams about food, just constantly. Um, little things, solids, patterns. Oh, look at that pie and the pattern. It's really cute. Bottom washi with our pattern full box. Tall box cutie right there with the little puppy. And then this gorgeous redhead right here. <sighs> fall fairground. Super cute. I don't know how many fall fairgrounds I'm going to go to, but I'm going to hold on to that kit. Um, we have yet yeah, another Nelly kit, which is by the fire. This is one of her many fall kits. This is again why think she hit burnout because she did so many freaking kits last year. It was insane, which again, keep them coming. Um, but yeah, I love the dark reds in this kit. It's so cute. It's just like a being cozy by the fire. Oh, she did a black and white tabby. I didn't even realize that. Oh, I love that. That's my black and white tabby right there. I have a double box scene of the couch. You have this little couple cuddling by the fire over there. So cute. Um, lantern count seven. <laughs> Oh my god, and there needs to be like a prize for like whoever verifies my count on how many lanterns are in this video. Um, and then our stack of sweaters, which I do collect sweaters. Yummy looking pie and, and like s'more board over there. Cookies. Um, and there's a little kitty who I, I think it's like a shoe bed that the kitty's napping in, which is very cute little basket with pillows in front of the fireplace um and there's the girl reading in front of the fire with the tea which is this is me all the time or would be me if we had a fireplace and then here we have like some friends with hot chocolate i love the cozy vibes here glitter headers and then we have our stack of books with the mug in front of it um another stack of books with like fall decor going on there Super pretty. Deco. A little solids. Patterns. Bottom washi with these couple holding hands. Or linking pinkies, actually. And then our last full box is the couple kissing by the fire. Oh, that is so cute, except that fire would terrify me. And then more fancy labels. Oh, that's such a cute little coupley kit. Okay, a couple more to get through. This one is Cozy Shop. This is like a coffee shop kit. I feel like everybody's done in a coffee shop art set at some point. I still need to do coffee for a while. I say it every single time. But yeah, I love these browns. And again, there's like fall foliage going on here. And like fall uh, pies and stuff. And cookies and donuts. So it's definitely a fall kit. Um, really pretty girl with the ombre hair. I don't know what these treats are, but they look good. A planner, uh, macarons, cookies, other treats, croissant, cupcakes. And then there's the double box scene, which is the coffee shop exterior. And then another double box scene, which is the interior. I love these shades of brown for the color scheme. Deco, and then this really pretty girl with the beret for the fashion girl solid or not solids littles solids patterns and then bottom washi pattern full box and then the tall box girl with the gorgeous hair which i think i chose like reddish brown so that you could see the detail better and then um extra fancy labels which i'm a huge coffee fan so definitely we'll find time for that and then lastly last kit we are back in silly studio art. This is pumpkin. And I love these like it's like reddish orange or so much like reddish pinkish orange going on here. And it's like still very faded. 
It's a very cool. I love this little fox. The perfect fox. This is a very, like, indoor, like, fall decor kit situation. We have a double box scene of the couch. Um, we have candles here, pumpkins, little little mini pumpkin pies, um, like fall decor here, hand with the manicure, double box scene of, I think, the bed, glitter headers, deco, uh, little things, solids, patterns, bottom washi, the little bunt cake right there, and then extra full boxes. We have our tall box hottie here with the curly hair. Extra full boxes are this open book. I think that's like a close-up of the bed, so maybe we don't need that because it's kind of the same thing. And then a flat lay, a clothing flat lay. So yeah, that is pumpkin, which would be a great anytime fall kit. And that is it for this haul. Oh man, I don't think I'm going to have a haul this big in a very long time. So I hope that these last two enormous hauls have held you over. But again, feel free to verify how many lanterns were in this because I did this haul over the course of two days and I definitely could have lost count, but I think we ended at seven. But correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be amazing. And I will see you in my next video, which will likely be a plan with me. So keep an eye out. Ciao, ciao.